Hey everyone, Livy here, back with another video, and today I'm going to talk about a deck that I'm very excited about and oddly enough feels very personal to me. The deck in question is an, the third deck, different deck, by Yonasa Yaus, and this one is a Nemeth Tarot. So, as you can see, I haven't even opened this yet. So I guess you could technically say this video is going to be an unboxing, flip through, first impressions of my thoughts of this deck. And I'm excited about this one because for those who don't know Yanasi, oh, this is, oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting. Okay, it's kind of, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's very, um, it's a little chunkier than I was expecting, but it looks like this. This is, it comes in a tuck box, as you can see. Signatures on it. Yonasa's signature. Very, very, very beautiful. Okay, let's talk about this deck. Why did I want this one specifically? For those who don't know, Yonasa Yaus is the creator of the Yonasa Yaus Tarot, which has had at least seven editions, and also the creator of... Oh, what's the other one? I technically still own it, but I put that deck in Purgatory. Didn't like that as much. Um... Oh, I'm blanking on the name of that one. If I remember, I'll get back to you on that. Oh, Ra uh, no, not Radiant Tarot. Ugh, something along those lines. But anyway, she's had a couple decks. This one is the one I'm very excited about because Nemeth Tarot is, is a tarot deck that is based on Galician mythology. And that is very exciting to me. And the reason why it's exciting to me is because... I am Portuguese, okay? I've made out a, I've talked about that a little bit on this channel. I know I don't say it a shit ton, but I am Portuguese. And if you don't know, Portuguese culture, especially Northern Portugal and Galicia, is very, 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 very similar. I'm not going to say it's exactly the same, but it is very similar. And even the language, actual Galician language and Portuguese is very similar. So... I am incredibly excited about this. I'm hoping to learn from this deck. Um, it gives this cool bit here. Now, I cannot say I know Galician. I only know Portuguese. I've heard videos in Galician, though. It sounds very similar to Portuguese. If I fuck up anyways, I'm sorry in advance for pronunciation, especially if you are Galician. But this sounds very similar to Portuguese, so some of these, the ways I'm seeing them spelled and stuff, um, I will probably say it more like how I would say Portuguese. But it tells you, okay? So these are the different suits in the Nemeth Tarot. This is all the little bit you get. Um, Kunchas would be right, like your shells. Espadas, that would be your swords. Pauge, be your wands. The grail, I mean, it, it literally says like grial cups, right? And even says the words there, like different. It gives you all the different like phrases of that. That's really cool. For the purposes of English, though, it talks about the Cunchas as saying the scallop is the official symbol of the Camino de Santa Santiago. That's in Spain, of course, used to guide pilgrims to follow the correct route. Fig tree branches are smooth, long, and strong. They were used in the legend of the 100 maidens. Really cool. Espada, so the Celtic sword is developed in the Bronze Age. The sword was a very precious asset for the Celtic warrior. They were made only for each warrior and were not transferable. Very cool bits there. And the Grial, the Grail, the first representation of heraldry, um, her heraldry sorry, appears in the Middle Ages as a chalice in the English Seeger's Rule. Very cool. So this is the only bits we really get. It's like a cool postcard thing. Now, as you're going to see as I open this up, this deck does not currently, I think, have a guidebook, but I do know that Yonasa is in the works of making one, and I cannot wait for that. You know I'll be ready for it when that time comes, but let's look at this deck. So this is the box. These cards, ooh, I have small hands, so I'm not going to lie to you. These cards are a little extra 
little chunky, little longer than I thought. That's why I was very surprised when I picked it up. But the cardstock is nice. This is cardstock I've expected from Yanasa. I don't know what publisher or like how she, you know, does her decks, but um, it's the same cardstock. It's just longer um, and fatter than the other deck I have that's also this. Okay. And interesting, just like the other one, I've learned since then, sometimes people still comment on that video when I did the 7th edition, and they were like, eh, well, just put it in order if it bugs you. Listen, I've learned from there, some creators, yes, they do their decks all out of order, so we're just going to figure out how she has set this up, okay? Okay, let's do this. Starting with conchas, okay? Or maybe... Okay, so they're all different. Yes, okay. They're all going to be all over the place. We're just going to flip through and give our thoughts here. Aj de Conchas is U Camino de Santiago. So this is in um, Spain. Very famous. Very famous route. Very religious. Um, beautiful, though. People have always been going on pilgrimages for that. Okay. Okay. So our X here, so 10 of Conchas is Umilu. I don't know much about this one. Again, don't really know. There's no guidebook, but it's pretty. Okay, two. The two of Conchas here is Galinha P... P is that Pitus de Oro? Interesting, I don't know. I don't know much about that one, but kind of cool. This shut the front door. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. So Galicia and Portugal, um, the Galicia region of Spain and Portugal are very, very similar. And this right here literally looks like this could have been in the fucking Azores. This is beautiful. Um, the three of conchas is a, f a fonte do, do estrés. Conyuge. Okay, so that's the way they pronounce that. The fountain of um, three. Well, it says Kanush. So that's probably like channels. Very cool. Okay, the five is Ujanesh. Oh, I don't know how you would say that one. Maxishus. I don't know that one. That's that's a combo that you would probably not see in Portuguese. So that's definitely more. A Galician thing. Very interesting new. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I say five for that one? No, four. Sorry. This is four. This is five. Haberish du Castro. Okay. Interesting. Six. Ana Manana. Interesting. I'm so curious to know what the legends are for some of these, but I'm really excited. Ujmayuj, something about children, I'm assuming. Some kind of celebration. Very cool. Moinu de Agua. Interesting. Oh, sorry. I stopped saying the numbers. <laughs> I was like... Listen, they're all out of order anyways. Okay, this is seven. This is eight. At least it's still in the same suit. So we're still in the shells here. Um, Muñeiras? Muñeiras? That is so wild too, the clothes. This is like, oh my God. That's very similar to what basically um, traditional Portuguese clothing is. That is so wild. I'm here for it though. Okay. And then we have the Cavaleiro de Cunhas. So this is um, obviously our knight here. And it says A Historia do no Novo or Noivo. Interesting. And then you have the Haina. So that's the queen. Amora. Ah, it's Amora. Okay. Amora Serpe. Interesting. Very cool. And then we have the Hai, our king, Hai Moru. So again, this is more um, 
There's a lot about the Moorish. I do know a little bit of their tales because, again, it's also a thing in Portugal. Um, they're basically fairies and, like, hers in particular. I do know a little bit about this one so I could talk about it here. Um, they are, they've, there's a lot of different depictions of them, but a lot of them talk about like being chained to a rock. And if somebody comes along and frees them, they will give them riches. Now this one, as you can see, has a snake thing. So not all of them were nice though. Some of them tricked you. Um, and so that was interesting that this one's depicting, depicting that. And this is obviously, obviously the king of them. Very cool. I like this. Okay. Next, the Sota de Kun, um, Kunchas, though. So that is our page, and it just says Kunchas. So I don't know much about that. They'll probably talk about it, um, hopefully, in the guidebook eventually. And by the way, I have to say so far, I am digging the artwork. I do like that it's very much greens and blues and pops of red. That seems very consistent in what I know of Galicia and also just northern Portugal and Portuguese colors. So this feels pretty consistent and I'm here for it. Really like this. Okay, now we're in the swords because we have Aj de Espadas. So we're in the aces here. And this says Brandomish. This looks like something from Arthur, Arthurian stuff. That's really cool. Probably Celtic in origin. Okay. The ten. Ten de espadas. U castelo de fame. I don't know much about that. And by the way, again, I'm saying this very closer to Portuguese. I know Galician's a little different. But... The easiest way for me to get on point with this is to say it in a more Portuguese way because it is spelled and has different, similar spelling. So I'm just saying this how I think it said. U castelo da fama. Okay. The two of swords we have. What does this say? A pena. Oh, pena. A pena dos encantos. Okay. Very cool. Very interesting. They look like white ladies. That's cool. We have the three, the three of swords, and this is Flora, for, uh, ooh, blah, blah, sorry, Flor Alba. There we go. And then we have our four of, of espadas is Santu, who? Santu Andre de Teixeiro. It looks like Teixeiro. Ah, interesting. That's just like, um, very similar to Portuguese. Very cool. Okay. I am so curious about the legends of half of these. Okay. The five swords, we have a coca. I do know a little bit about cocas too. They're basically like, um, yeah, as you see here, it's kind of like a sea serpent, um, some kind of boogie beast. There's different ones, dragons, right? So, very cool. Okay, we have the six of um, swords, espadas here. We have, what does this say? I'm pushing it up a little closer so even I can see it. A canyada de moru. Okay, so it's another like. Or is that a T? Is that a T? Cantara? This font's a little weird. I will admit it's a little hard to tell. Maybe it's Cantara, probably. The Moru. Or Mora. Okay. We are in the Seven. Seven of Swords. We have Aj Sereyaj. These are basically, as you see, sirens. Um... Or mermaids. That's the closest. I do know a little bit about this. My god, I'm actually surprised of what little bits I do understand. This is through my own research too. I've tried a lot to understand um, old Portuguese myths. So some of these I recognize, but not all of them. This one is Eight of Swords. This is San Cosmeda or Cosmeiro, sorry. This is the Nine Nine of Swords. We have San Eru U Abare or Abad. Abade? Hmm. Abade maybe. Okay. 
we have our knight. Cavaleiro da Espadas is Lopez de Lemos. Interesting. I don't know much about him. That'd be interesting. We have our Heine. Is Heine Lupa. I, I'm going to guess she's some kind of wolf queen. That's really cool. Digging it. Here for that. <laughs> Let's go in that direction. That's cool with me. And we have our Hai, our king, Hai Sintolu. And we've got a crab. Really interesting. I really just want to know what's going on with this guidebook. It's like so good. Okay. We have our Sota de Espadas. We have Maria Pita. And these cards are really big. So I'm like trying to like go close and then do this and then do that just so you guys can see. But this is Maria Pita. And now we are in our cups. Okay. We have Aj de Grial. We have U. Oh, Sebreidu. Sorry, U Sebreidu. That's like the similar sleigh. And then we have our 10 de Grial. We have Penna Trevinka. Wait, would they say Vinka or Vinka? Hmm. Trevinka. I don't know on that one. I'm trying, I was trying to think of like how I would say that in Portuguese. If it would be Vinka. Similar. Don't know. This is very beautifully depicted though. Um, but yeah, this is the 10. The two, to the Grial, we have Erba the Namorad. Interesting. We have the three, the Grial, uh, Tres de Grial, Ritual, uh, Ritual de Tres Pedras. Interesting. Again, interested to know more of the tales. Okay, we have the four. Oh, uh, four. Grial, we're still in the same cup. We have Pena do equal. Equ this is basically saying equilibrium, but equilibrium? Equil I always get trapped on L's. I'm so sorry. Okay, I butchered that one. We're going to move on from that one. Um, <laughs> the five. Okay, five of cups. We have Pena de uh, dos namorados. Okay. We have our six here. It is a uh, ooh Pererinha. Sorry, Pererinha. Interesting. Very beautifully. Again, this is like very interesting nature shots, and I'm here for it. Okay, we have the seven of cups, which is Pena Mole. Ooh, how does she? Because in I don't know if it's the same in uh, Galician, but in Portuguese, when you see an X, it makes like a H sound more. So this could be Molecha, but I don't know if it's similar in um, Galician. Interesting. Okay. We have the uh, Eight of Cups and we have a Flor de Agua. Interesting. Something with fountain here. Okay, we have our nine of cups and it's saying Petador Romano. Ah, some kind of Roman thing. The Romans were in both Spain and Portugal for a very long time. It was at least 500 or so years, if not more. I don't remember, but they were in there a very long time. So there's a lot of random Roman shit in there. Okay, anyways. Cavaleiro the Grial, we have Galahad, and Galahad is more, yes, Arthurian, but um, there's, there is things to be said when they were in Spain, France, different bits on that, so interesting to hear what the thoughts are on Galahad, but I do recognize Galahad. Okay, so that's our Cavaleiro the Grial, so our knight, our Heina is Eldefreda, I don't know her, Eldefreda. Very beautiful though. The art in this deck, if anything from this, if you guys are hearing me just butcher a bunch of things and just speaking in Portuguese, I like the color scheme. I like how interesting it is. For me personally, 
I'm seeing a lot of similarities to Portuguese, and so I'm just enjoying that, having a good time here, vibing. Color scheme is pretty much what it is, but I like that she picks in her lane and just goes with it. Um, this is our king, and he's Andrade. Interesting. This reminds me of this um, thing in Portugal. It's more down south from it, though, so it would be more divorced from Galician. But there's um, this area in Lisbon called the Toch and the tower and there is a scene where you're like looking out and it's kind of similar to this this is like really interesting to me okay our sota so our um our page is milagre do santo grau interesting don't know what's going on here but i'm assuming there was a sacrifice there looks like there's blood in there something with the virgin uh, Mary, interesting, very interesting. Ah, okay. This one, now we're in, shut up. Are we already in the majors? Sorry, I'm going to speed through and look. Oh, no, okay. So the last thing, uh, we are going to see majors next, and then the last thing will be the wands. Okay, okay. Really, really interesting here. Okay. We are in death. Unnamed death once again. And we have a Santa Compana. I can't tell if there's an accentu. If there is, it's Compagna. But very cool. So death. Shut the f Oh, no. Okay, shut the fuck up. This is... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for anyone who's actually like trying to look at you and all see stuff. Okay. This is straight out of Portuguese legend too. Our symbol, the Portuguese symbol, the everything Portugal is this tail. So I guess this is also a big deal in Galicia. I did not know that, but it is the Portuguese symbol. You cannot go anywhere without seeing this. This is Ugalu de Barcelos. This is the rooster of Barcelos. This is a big Portuguese tale. I know exactly about this. Um, this is our U Afora. Um, U Aforcado. This is basically the hangman. I can actually tell you about this one. I do know this one. For those who are in, curious about this, so the rooster of Barcelos. This is the big. This is basically the founding of Portugal as it is. Um, there was a man who went to go to, okay, there's a many, many different ways to talk about this tale, but there was a man who went to this rich guy's house, basically like a duke or king or something. And he was having a meal with them. And this guy, this other guy who was at the party tried to falsely accuse him of committing a crime. And so they wanted to hang this guy. And he said, well, if a rooster crows before the sun rises, I'm telling the truth. And so basically they started to hang him. The rooster crowed and they were like, oh shit, he was telling the truth. And they basically had to cut him down. And it's, <laughs> it's a funny tale, but this is a Portuguese tale. Um, I knew this one. Very cool hangman, though. This is very, 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 very appropriate. This is Ugalu de Barcelos. Okay. We are in Ukaru, which is basically, right, our chariot. Ukaru Anku. Okay. Don't know much about this one, but cool. We have Udianu, so this is our devil. Udemu Buleiru. Or, yeah, bu, Burleiru, yeah. Interesting. Don't know much about this tale either, but that's cool. Now, interesting. Definitely a Roman here. We have U Imperador. This is Magnu Clemente Maximo. Interesting. It's definitely a Roman. Don't know much about him, but cool. Okay, we have a uh, imperatriz. This is our empress of Velha. So this is basically just like an old lady. I don't know if there's like a specific tale with her. 
This is hella funny too. Sorry, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be laughing. This is all funny too because it looks like she's holding coives, which is like basically in every Portuguese person's household. Like you just eat a bunch of coives. And coives, by the way, is like um, kale, a bunch of kale and collard greens and other such things. Very typical, on point, like it, here for that. Okay. U ermitan, we have a pere, peregrina. I think that has to do something with the, like, the storm and stuff going on there. But I, this feels vaguely familiar, but I don't know 100% on this tale. So I'm not going to comment on that one. Anyways, we have same thing, same thing. The star, the star, a estrella. Or Estrella. There we go. Star card. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm here for this. Um, I wonder if it's said the same way. A Forza. This is San Brand. Oh, San Brandon. Interesting. Don't know much about him. Saint. That basically means Saint Brandon. Don't know much about him. Cool whale depiction, though. I'm here for this. <gasps> Shut up. I love Okay, sorry. That's like my, my one of my favorite owls and I'm like digging it. That is literally looks like a spotted owl. I'm here for this. A lua, this is the moon. And this says a of a ooh. Avelona? Avelona? Interesting. That's a little harder for me to say, but very beautiful here for this. Whoa, okay, this is our magician, Umegu, and it says, U Nubeiru. I don't know who that is. Don't know much about it, but it has a sword. Very interesting. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, the world card, Mundo. We have, moon, or, or, well, in Spanish you'd say Mundo, but I guess in... If it was more like Portuguese, this would be Mundu, Mundu Galegu. Very cool. And Galegu, by the way, if you don't know, that is Galician. That is their name for themselves. So, so this is basically, yeah, the Galician world. That is so cool. I'm here for it. It's like the tree of life, guys. Very cool. Okay. Now we have the... Uj namuradu or namuradus, sorry, that is the lovers. A pena dush namuradus, right? Very beautiful. And then we have Upapa, so that's our hierophant. This is Frey. What is who is that? Sarmiento. Interesting. Or Sarmiento? I don't know. Very cool. Okay. And we have our high, um, our high piece, our, blah, 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 sorry, our high priestess. This is a papiza, a moncha, a sheda, or a sheria. Interesting. Don't know much about her either. Okay. Ah, now this feels very interesting. But this works. A the the fortuna, that is our wheel of fortune. And this is a fiandera. Interesting. Okay, and then of course we have our sun card, Usol. This is Beru Breu. Interesting. I don't know much on that one. That looks vaguely like, um, what's that thing in um, UK? I haven't been there. Stonehenge? Looks vaguely like Stonehenge. Very cool. Oh, very cool. This is like a water nymph kind of vibe. So this is our temperance card, a uh, Tempranza. We have Aj Aguas Santas. Interesting. Very cool. Okay, Atola. This is our fool. And it says A Gaiteira. Interesting. Don't know much on this too. This also looks very traditional Portuguese. Very cool though. Okay. Ah, speaking of the tower, Atoh. Well, they might say a different. I don't know. I don't know how Galicians would say it. I don't know if they pronounce it the same way. Our R's become like a kh in Portuguese. <laughs> so it's like a toch. So that's the tower here. And it says a toch de Hercules. Uh, Hercules, I guess. I don't know how you would say that in Portuguese. But Hercules, basically. Or Hercules. I don't know. 
That's a little trickier on that one. Okay. And then we have Ushizu. Oh, this is, um, why am I blanking? 20. 20. Judgment. Yes. I don't know why I was blanking there. And we have Marusanya. Ma Hainya. Hainya. Maruhainya. There we go. The, see, the X's are tricky. Very beautiful, though. And then we have a uh, um, Huisa or Hutiza, sorry, Hutiza Justice. Um, Maria Castagna. So that's like um, Mary of um, Chestnuts. Kind of a weird thing, but okay. Here for it. She still looks cool. And now we're in our last one. We are in the pouch. This is would be our wands. And we have Uome Verde. So the green man. You guys might know a little bit about the green man. I think that's a... Isn't that in something else too? That's very Celtic. But this is the green man basically. Vaguely familiar on that one. We have the ten of... Um, the Ten of Wands here. We have Queimada. We have the Two of Wands, which is Donina Serva. Or maybe it's more like Spanish, so Spanish, so in this case, so this would probably be more like Donina. Yeah. And then Serva. Okay. Our three of wands is, let me let's zoom in here, Tres Doncelas trans, Transparentes. Interesting. Three transparent maidens? I don't know. That's an interesting. I don't know much on that tale. We have the four of wands. This is Sereya Marina. Or Mar Marina. I guess you could say Marina. See? So another um, interesting tale. These are all really cool. I can't wait for the guidebook. Um, uh, oh, okay. So this is our five of wands. And this is Ush. Oh, what is... What's a hundred in Portuguese again? Why is my brain failing me? But it's basically the a hundred... Um, it talked about it on this thing, right? Um, the hundred soldiers. Was that what they were saying? Oh, Don Selish. So the a hundred maidens probably related to that so the hundred maidens right don't sell -ish. okay and sorry my light is fading so you guys are like barely seeing half of the shit okay we have our six of swords here i'm not swords Blah. sorry six this is how i know my brain is fried this is the six of wands sorry this is a Cobrega do Encanto. Okay. Very pretty though. Probably another Moira um, tale, but I don't know. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands. This is U Monte Med Medulio. Interesting. Don't know much about that either. Wow, I like this rainbow. It's beautiful. Uh, this is the Eight of Wands. And this is... Befana Lu, uh, Leonessa. Interesting, Befana Leonessa. Don't know much of that tale either. Very cool, though. Okay. Our nine of, um, our nine of wands is Aj, uh, Gieras Irmandinhas? Am I seeing that right? Is there, like, an accent mark on that N? It looks like it, right? Irmandinhas. I'm not sure. Again, don't know that myth. Um, our Cavaleiro, our Knight of um, our Knight of Wands here is um, who I do not know how to say this one. Tilcru looks like Tilcru. That's how I'd probably say it, but I'm not sure. We have our Haina. This is Peppa Loba. Interesting, another wolf thing. We have our high, our king is Bre or Breogon. Don't know much about that one either. Very cool though. And then our Sota. This is our page. And our page just says 
If I'm reading that correctly, that just says Ith. I don't know much on that, then. Don't know much about him. And the consensus of this deck is, I don't know much about these, except for the things that overlapped with Portuguese. <laughs> but when that guidebook comes out, you better believe I'll be one of the first ones studying this deck, because wow, 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 wow. Especially the connections to what is similar to Portuguese and what is not. It is so fascinating to see. Now, my hands are small. So this deck is, if you have smaller hands, this deck is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you. But this cardstock is always good. It shuffles well if you are able to get your hands around it. It's like good cardstock. Again, I'd be like really curious to know about who her printer is because I do actually like the cards from this printer. But she always does her decks in like weird <laughs> different sizes. So it's a little, it's a little funky fresh. But yeah. This is the Nemeth Tarot. I feel like other people have probably done better um, walkthroughs, <laughs> flip throughs, first thoughts of this. But I have the unique experience of butchering through a bunch of card pr pronunciations that uh, are very similar to Portuguese. I said them basically in Portuguese or what I thought was close to it, but I don't actually know if that's any close to Galician, which is the language that those cards are written in. But... Another thing about this deck, if I didn't say, sorry, this is Marseille inspired. Even though all the cards are depicted, it is similar to Marseille. Um, so I guess you would read them more in a numer numeral... I, I don't have words anymore. In a number sense. But anyways, I'm just shuffling here just to show you. It shuffles very well, even though it's big and kind of awkward. But let's see what they look like when there's a couple of them laid out here. So, un, dois, tres. Okay. We have... Yeah, this looks very beautiful here. We have our king of pentacles. We have our seven of um, cups and we have our six of cup our cups also very beautiful I like this okay I'm here for this I want the guidebook <laughs> I want to know more but I was surprised by what I did recognize and what was similar to me to Portuguese and I think that's a beauty to that especially our hanged man because that is literally the founding of Portugal. And so that's beautiful. That's that's part of that. That was cool. And I'm I'm here for this deck. This is not a deck for everyone. I'm going to start by saying that. I don't I feel like if you don't have a stake in this, like if you're not either Portuguese or Galician, I don't know if you're going to have as much of a good time as I was having or just like pondering things and looking at stuff as I was. But the artwork in this deck is stunning, and for that reason, I don't think you should 100% diss this. I think that Jonas Yaus does need to um, release the guidebook at some point in time so that, you know, others could learn more of the myths and become appreciative in that way. And I'm curious to learn more through her studies because there's a lot of things I just don't know. I'm, I live in America. I'm Portuguese, Portuguese descent. And because I live here, there's a lot of things that I do not have access to, right? Because the documents of which would only be still in Europe and in Portugal. We just don't have the same access here in the United States. So I'm very curious to read about her findings and you know discover things on my own but for now I'm vibing with this and if you were watching thank you so much for watching hope it was entertaining enough and I will see you all again next time but this was the Nemeth Tarot bye